What's up guys, it's Casey Zogelman aka The Fourth Sanderson Sister coming at you with another Hocus Pocus merch news update. So in today's video, we're talking about a new piece of merch that is coming out this August, and it's actually um, pretty exciting. We're getting a new book. A new book is dropping. Um, it is called Witches Run Amok, The Oral History of Disney's Hocus Pocus. It is set to release on August 13th of this year. So we have a new um, nonfiction book on Hocus Pocus coming out, which I'm really looking forward to. I can never get enough of uh, facts and everything. That's why I know so much, because I read all these books about this one movie. <laughs> and then two movies now. Maybe they'll mention the sequel. That'd be cool. So um, let me go ahead and uh, read the description for you guys. This is on Amazon for pre-order, by the way. Um, if you pre-order it now, it's $26.99, and they have their pre-order price guarantee, which means even if it goes up, we still pay the same thing uh, that it is right now. So we'd still pay $26.99 no matter what, and I've already pre-ordered mine, so I've got my price guarantee. So the description reads, In July 1993, Disney's Hocus Pocus starring Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy and Jimmy did not immediately find success with box office numbers falling far below what was envisioned. I'd stand back, she's gonna blow! Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. Ah! Yet somehow, the Halloween movie released in the middle of summer to little fanfare has become an enduring and widely loved classic. Nearly three decades... Nearly. <laughs> this must have been written a while ago. Three decades after the film's initial release, it's a yearly holiday viewing tradition in households around the world, becoming a not-so-scary rite of passage for kids and their parents, many of whom grow up watch, grew up, not grow up, grew up watching the film about the resurrected witchy trio with their own parents. Hocus Pocus is a movie that has few, if any, equals. It manages to span a generational divide, uniting boomers and zoomers, one of the only things to exist in the world that can say that, in their nostalgic love for the boundary-pushing supernatural comedy that in some ways seemed a little too risque for the millennial kids it was originally intended for. He <laughs> ain't just a whistling Dixie. So how did a movie that didn't catch an initial spark end up casting such a huge spell on mainstream culture? Witches run amok answers asks, answers that question and more using interviews from the cast and creative team behind the heartwarming Halloween staple. The book is a love letter to Hocus Pocus's millions of devoted fans and a fascinating read for anyone who wants to understand how the Disney movie became a pop culture phenomenon. So if you order now, you will get it on release day on August 13th, 2024 for $26.99 and it is written by because I forgot to read that. <laughs> it's written by Shannon Carlin. Not sure who that is, but I'm excited to read what she has to say. Because, <laughs> um, you know, every time one of these comes out, you think you've learned everything, and you haven't. Something new always comes to light, and I'm really looking forward to that. I love it whenever we get new uh, stories, new interviews, new stuff like that, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this has to say about the film. Um, I'm kind of hoping they'll talk a little bit about the second one. I mean, they're definitely going to be focusing on the first one for the most part, but I really hope they talk a lot, or at least a little, about the sequel, because it was such a big historical event <laughs> for the fandom, and a little bit for Hollywood, for the simple fact that this, like I said in, a, I don't remember what video it was in, I think it was just in our State of the Union, um, which, if you haven't watched my State of the Union address, you can watch it by clicking on this thing right here. Um, I said that this was, like, one of the only times, if not the only time, we've ever seen a movie company just give us a movie because they want us to shut up. <laughs> they wanted us to be quiet. Here's your Hocus Pocus 2. Take it. Run, please. Now, don't come back. Shut up. <laughs> like, just... I really feel like that's what Disney was doing. They were just like, we hear you. We hear you. Please. Please, if we give it to you, will you be quiet? Sure, we'll be quiet for a little while, and now we're going to demand more. <laughs> because we're still missing deleted scenes from the second one. Hey, you want to throw those in the extras of Disney Plus? Go ahead and do that for me. Please, and thank you. I'll watch those. I'll react to them on YouTube. If uh, we were to get that. 
But, you know, they don't like us having deleted scenes and stuff. I'm still on the search for those from the original movie that exist somewhere because Hocus Pocus God and I in episode one of our podcast, which if you haven't watched uh, episode one, you can do so by clicking on this thing right here. We talked about it in the pay-per-view version of the movie that came out in 1994. It kept the deleted scenes in. There is an extended edition of that movie out there somewhere on somebody's VHS that they illegally taped whenever they pay-per-viewed it. <laughs> and it's out there and it exists. And if anyone watching this has a copy of that, feel free to send it to me. <laughs> because I have a cousin who can get those things off of VHSs and put them on DVDs and then digitally do them onto a thumb drive and then we could all look at the deleted scenes together and the world would finally be at peace. <laughs> um, just imagine if that was what fixed all of the problems. It was just the release of that footage. All the turmoil in the world just disappears. Um, but... It's out there. I know it is. It exists. And I want it. I want it badly, and I'm searching everywhere. I may have to go digging in somebody's vault, but we'll see what happens. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! <laughs> but, anyway, I'm really looking forward to this book. I love, 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 love book, books like these, because uh, whenever I read one, it is actually back on my shelf here, called uh, The Thinking Fan's Guide to the Halloween Classic. Um... That was whenever I found out that Come Little Children was not called Come Little Children. It was called Garden of Magic. And I closed the book, I laid it down, and I went, my life is a lie. <laughs> Just kind of sat there looking down for several minutes going, oh. It's like it messed me up for a good half hour. Um, and then I was just like, all right, we can keep reading now. I just needed a few moments to uh, let that sink in. Um, it's just, yeah, yeah. Things things happened that day. But I, I'm looking forward to more behind the scenes secrets. I'm looking forward to interviews. I'm looking forward to somebody else analyzing why it became such a, a hit um, from now on. And I'll probably read it and do a book review on it uh, on the channel whenever it comes out this coming late summer slash fall. It's late summer. But um, I am looking forward to that book. It is called Witches Run Amuck by Shannon Carlin, so go to Amazon and pre-order that bad boy. You can get it in digital download or hardback. I'm a hardback person because I like having the physical book in my hand. I don't dislike reading digital books, but I like having the book in my hand, especially for stuff like this. When it's a Hocus Pocus thing, I like to have the physical copy so I can add it to my collection of uh, many, many, many things. <laughs> um, and just, yeah. I just like it for that. So if you're a collector, make sure you order the uh, hardcover book. Uh, if you just want to read it, the digital download is cheaper. Um, but yeah, pre-order now so you can guarantee a copy on release day. And uh, let's all get ready to run them up together during in those pages of this wonderful book that's coming out. I'm really looking forward to it. I always look forward to stuff like this. This is a relatively short video because that's all I had. To, <laughs> that's all I have to talk about for the simple fact that. My brain hasn't been working. It doesn't want to do theories right now. I'm hoping to have a theory out for you guys next Monday. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, but uh, if you enjoyed this little merchandise news update, uh, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It helps me. And what helps me helps you guys get more great content like this whenever new merch is announced. I will hop on here and be like, hey, we got a new thing coming out. Make sure you get it. Um, especially when it's books like this. When it's books like this, I really feel the need to go, hey guys, we're getting a book and it's important. Um, so yeah, support authors, support authors, support writers, not AI. <laughs> we learned that the hard way <laughs> last last year with the strikes. Um, Saturday night, I'll be back with more Black Flame Gaming here on the channel at Hopefully 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's, it, it was a mess this past weekend. It was supposed to start at 7 so we could go through the two recaps that I had. But then uh, I didn't get the recaps done and it was very much a, well, do you want it done right or do you want it done fast situation. So we started a little after 7. But um, we still had fun. And uh, I'll be back doing more of that on Saturday night. We're getting close 
er, closer <laughs> to finishing Sarah's Soul Silver Nuzlocke. The Twitch channel is still in the works. I am trying to figure out how to get that up and running. I don't know if there's anything special I have to do to get things up and running over there, so I'm still doing my research. I'm kind of trying to wait it out till a little closer to February because that's when I can change my name back over there because I tried something and it didn't work and I don't like how it looks. So it might be February before we get the Twitch channel up and running and we'll be doing the Untitled Goose Game over on uh, Twitch every other weekend whenever that finally gets up and running. Um, more great stuff to come. I'm working out uh, a schedule with my friend to get our uh, Sanderson recipe book uh, series on the ups, on on the docket, uh, so I can go over there and start cooking for you guys uh, and showing you guys how to make recipes out of the Hocus Pocus cookbook. Um, apart from that, come back next week for another video. I'm hoping it'll be a theory. I'm really hoping it'll be a theory, but my brain's experiencing burnout. <laughs> it's experiencing burnout. Um, so, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a theory. If you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like and uh, comment your thoughts on this upcoming book down below. And if you'll be purchasing it yourself, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zogelman, a.k.a. the Fort Sanderson sister, and I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am